We are here live from the Microsoft booth. This is TeacherCast Live 2015. We are having a great time. My name is Jeff Bradbury from TeacherCast.net, and I am here with Tammy. Tammy, how are you today? I am doing absolutely great. This is a fantastic, fantastic event. And so there's a lot of neat things that are going on here at the Microsoft booth. One of them is the new product called Sway. Tell us a little bit about what Sway is. Well, I'm gonna tell you about Sway by telling you a little bit about my district. We just went one-to-one -one this year. So every student from K-12 received a Panasonic 3E. They were super excited, and so you can see behind me, let me show you, this is actually a Sway that we made to show everybody how our day went. Now, a Sway is actually a mobile and an online app that you can use for presentation. And what is so elegant about it is that it looks good on any platform. You can create it on a digital device, a smartphone, you can do it on a Surface Pro, you can do it on any device. And no matter what you look at it on, it's gonna morph to the, to the uh, device and look absolutely wonderful. Now when we think presentation, we generally think rectangles, we generally think one thing after the next. This doesn't look anything like that. No, and it's very, it's very interactive, it's very exciting. You can put in a, a video, you can put in pictures as you can see, you can put in text, and this is kind of a, a video, a blog, I guess, about our journey to go into one-to-one. Now, we didn't have this on our student devices. Microsoft just made it available to students with Microsoft accounts near the end of our school year. So we used it a lot whole class. Uh, this one was kind of an interesting one because we put it out for parents. So parents could see the journey that we all had gone through. But then my class got really excited when we went to science camp and they wanted to sway out their science camp. But of course, parents are very nervous when their, their kids go away. They like to be able to see their kids. And quite frankly, the only way that I could get anything out from science camp was to sway it. And all I had was a smartphone. So I took pictures with my smartphone and was able to create this so that parents could go online to the account that we gave them to the website. And every day it got updated with pictures of the students. Now, if you take a look at Sway right here behind me, you can see how easy it is to create it. You can insert things that come from, let me click it on here. The internet is very slow today, isn't it? I'll go with cards. You can add text, you can add heading, you can add pictures, video, and what's very nice is you can even do Bing searches within Sway, so you can find Bing images that you can use right away. You just put in a search term, you can see the ones already coming up from the title that I got. This seems very easy to do. It is ridiculously easy. And you can see you can also add things in from Flickr, Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube, and of course you can add your own content. Now, what grade levels is this? Is this something that we can start teaching first and second graders? Oh, my stars, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, we know how these digital natives are. They're very comfortable with, with electronics and with this kind of thing, and this is so easy. To be honest, I've given a couple of my students before we left on, well, let me show you. Before we left, we had done, uh, and you're, I think you're talking about it later, OneNote. They were very excited about OneNote, but they were uh, losing their devices over summer so they could be serviced. And I said, well, you know what? Let's make a sway and show off all the things that we did on your OneNote. So we made a sway that became our class yearbook. So again, very easy. The, I teach fifth grade in Manteca Unified. Rock on, proud to be MUSD. And uh, again, you can see, this is how it looks. Also very easy if I want to move things from one place to another, I can. And then I can preview it over here. And you can see here's our class notebook. Kids are very excited. This one, uh, you can do different orientations. You can do horizontal or vertical. Uh, these are some of the OneNote pages that the students did. And they have this very neat thing where you can stack things on top of each other. Wait a minute. Do that again. I know, right? So that's all done through Sway? This is all in Sway. Wow. And, and does it look like this on a mobile device? It would look like that on a mobile device. It would that's still pretty cool. Stack. How many of you guys out there have ever seen Sway? That is awesome. The other part I like about Sway, which is fun, is to do a little comparison. So you can stack two pictures, and then you can kind of blow some people's minds. Woo! <laughs> so it's really, really, really fun. Wait, wait a minute. H how did you do that again? Well, I had a friend digitize this for me, but it, I, it's called comparison. And you put in two slides, and then you just slide it across. You've seen them on, on the internet before, but Sway allows you to integrate it just absolutely seamlessly. The other thing you might want to know about Sway is it's so easy that I have already done a Sway for today about you, my friend. Oh, boy. That is true. And it is down here. I did it on my smartphone while you were interviewing other people. 
I had a little fun. It's upside down. I know. <laughs> I was having fun. <laughs> so I did this on my cell phone. I took some pictures. I did a little thing, uh, put some headings onto it. And you can see here we've got teacher cast. There were guests on the show before me. And look how dynamic these pictures come in. We even had an audience member. I put a little video in of him because we have these great chairs out here provided by Microsoft. And he was having way too much fun rocking back and forth on that chair. See him there going back and forth. And then just before And you we did all that on your mobile device. And I did that on mobile. And just before we started, and I took this picture. And we just took that picture about four minutes ago. And look how great this is. So even if you have, I was just talking with a teacher and I said, you know, when you're in the shower in the morning and you get that, oh my gosh, I have this great idea. I know how to teach this, but I don't have anything prepared. You can just put a few things up in here, and it's elegant, and it's ready to rock at, at 9 o'clock when school starts. So Sway works in the shower. Sway works in the shower. That is pretty awesome. Could you show us how to build this? I mean, look, you just showed us that you did this in the last 20 minutes here. Absolutely. Take us from step one. I know the Internet's a little bit limited, but let's, yes. let's see where we can do with this. Absolutely. So we're going to go back to the main page. You have to have a Microsoft account, but they are free. Like everything else with Microsoft, you click on Create New. Just the plus sign is really easy. So I'm going to click on Create New, and hopefully it's going to work with me here. You never know. Sometimes it does, and sometimes it doesn't. It's ISTE, but the Internet, there's so many of us tech heads out here. So you can see it's already giving me some instructions what I need to do. Title my sway. So I'm going to say sway away today. And there's my title. And it's even asking me to pick a background. So I can click on that, and I can pick something off of Bing. If I click on Bing... It's going to give me, oh, right there's a picture of Sway. That's exactly what I want. So I'm going to click on that. And there's the one I want. I'm going to check it. I'm going to click on Add. And there it is. And if I go over here, if I click on the open spot, here's what my header looks like. So I can go back and forth and check what it looks like. I was going to ask you, why should we be using Sway versus other types of presentation tools? This looks really cool. Yeah. This uh, looks like it can be done on a Surface tablet. This looks like it's ready for the new millennium with Windows 10. It is. It is ready for Windows 10. But why should you be using Sway? Because it looks great on any device. It will morph itself into a... a, 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 a <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so excited. There's so many people. Um, it will morph itself into any shape. So it looks good on a cell phone or it looks good on a mobile device or it looks good on your Surface Pro. And it's really easy, and you can sway from anywhere. And you, you don't need to have, you know, I don't know. I just, I find it so easy. Science camp was when I really came to love it. Uh -huh. Because all the parents were, were, you know, texting me back and saying, oh, my gosh, this is so beautiful, and there's my kid. And so, yeah. One more time, sway.com. Sway.com, and it is free. You just create a Microsoft account if you don't already have one. So teacher's going to sway, sway, sway. If you haven't checked out Sway, it is fantastic. A few months ago, we had the Sway team on the TeacherCast podcast. We have an excellent show over on TeacherCast.net. You can certainly check all that stuff out. This is the future of, of presentations. Absolutely. This is awesome. We will be back live from the Microsoft booth. This is TeacherCast Live from ISTE 2015. Let's we'll hear be right it for back. TeacherCast. Woo!